Yes, I experienced homophobia throughout school quite a lot. I was beat up in high school several times. And uh, each sport that I wanted to be a part of, I was always picked last and it was hard so I just stopped doing it. There was a time where I just didn't even want to go to school anymore just because it got so bad. I actually gravitated towards sports a bit because it allowed me to not be bullied because I was considered a jock. AIDS was a synonym of not being healthy, being skinny, dying. For a long time, I was trying to be in shape to fight these stereotypes. I was not even thinking about my health. I was just thinking about proving the world that I was in good shape. I used to think that running was not really my thing. And then I met this group of amazing guys that meet once or twice a week, that put their gear on and hit the street of Toronto. After my car accident that I had in 2014, the Nike Run Club changed my life for the better. I've actually met a, a lot of great people through this club that I, I wouldn't have even known if I wasn't a part of it. I feel like they're making me a better person. As I've grown as a runner, I've also grown as a person. And to share that experience with other people and help them with that growth and journey is going to be really special. Sports connects people and you build relationships. And I think being an athlete has made me the person who I am right now. It is important for me to be a leader in the LGBT community because there is a lot of work that still needs to be done when it comes to equality for everybody. Even in Canada, and we have made tremendous strides over the years. If you want to come support the LGBT community or get out of the house and meet some new people or drop that 10 pounds that you want for your summer body, come out. It doesn't matter if you are part of the LGBTI community or not, everybody's welcome and I think it's a great opportunity to be active, to become friends. I can say it makes a difference, so just do it.